Inquirer has been strong through our four week auction campaign and we've worked hard to ensure all of our buyers are actively competing today. Contract amendments have been agreed upon, pest and building inspections have all checked out and the participation logistics that we look for in the key final week of the auction campaign are there. The dump, as it's affectionately named, offers a range of lifestyle opportunities to the various groups of buyers that we've targeted. Price interest throughout the campaign have been in the early ones, but we're confident we can achieve a 1.3 plus result for our vendors. We've focused our marketing strategy and buyer inquiry management upon three distinct types of buyers. The first being investors, those looking for a low maintenance quality rental yield opportunity that will enjoy Mortdale's strong capital growth. The second, those looking for the move in convenience of what this beautifully renovated charmer offers. And most importantly, the emotional buyers. They may be a professional couple, starry eyed upgraders, a downsizer looking for a single level living. They may be simply a young family looking for a family home that offers them immediate lifestyle. Experience tells us with the right encouragement on auction day, they'll emotionally compete and are more likely to pay an emotional price. Let's see how we go. Well, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the auction number 16, Villiers Avenue here in Mortdale. It's my great pleasure again to be working alongside the dominant force in Mortdale real estate, ladies and gents. On behalf of this team, I really would like to welcome half of Mortdale to this auction and wish all of our prospective purchasers the very best of luck in your bidding here today. Where would you like to see the bidding start? 1.1, bidder number 41 has done all the hard work for us. Madam, I welcome you in. Maybe a 25, just to get some action going. You want some competition, sir, I know that. 75's in front now, it's against you, sir. 250, that's bold bidding at 35. You've got some competition now, sir. 1.3, new bidder, welcome to the bidding at 1 million three. Dave Hughes working hard as always. Simon Kai on my right. First call at 310. 320, I'll settle in ladies and gents at 320. Judy straight back on top. 330, 330 is the bid now, sir and madam. At one, three, 330, once, twice, third time before we go. Are we all done? At a million, madam, it's on the market. No, I'm, I'm being deadly serious. There's always one last bid and this might be the chance. How about a cheeky thousand? Anything to put you back in the lead there. Gentleman's looking all too comfortable here on the right hand side at three and 30. 3.30 with bidder number 28. First, second, third time before we go. 3.40, sir, don't wait so long. There's a swooper, you have 3.45, 50's back in front, now we're rolling. 60's there, 70, 3.80 is your chance. 90, let's go to 1.4 together. 1.4, 1.4, 1.4.10, there we go. 4.20, 30, there we go, 4.40. 50, back in front, sir. 60, there we go. Team Q's working magic. Sir, I need an answer. Ever had your best? Last time I'm going to ask, you sure? Can I ask your missus? Because in my world, she makes the decisions. Are you sure? You done? Once, twice, third time before we go. All done. At one, four, eight, zero, Husey. So, congratulations to our new owner. Another huge result for David Hughes, Chris Cortales and Simon Kai working for Sanders, Noon and Mordale. Wow, what a result. I knew it was going to be strong, but I didn't think it was going to be this strong. 180,000 above the peak of the market interest. The key today was attracting eight registered bidders from our three sub buyer groups and having them actively compete against each other. Throughout the campaign, we've encouraged, included and qualified each and every buyer. We had scenario planned how today would go and it was great to see our plan unfold. Having our team of skilled auction agents, including Michael, our group auctioneer, all on the same page with a strong understanding of each buyer's affordability and motivation was crucial in generating the emotional bidding we saw at the end there. This was the foundation of the emotional price that we were looking for. Our vendors are over the moon with the result and we're very happy for them. As a full-time career auctioneer, I get to work with a large number of agents. Some simply go through the motions and see where the cards fall on auction day. Others are absolute top shelf. They craft the results they get on auction day. I can comfortably say that David Hughes and his team are amongst the very best in Southwestern St. George. Importantly, they work as a team, not just on auction day, but throughout the campaign. I can say with authority that they meticulously plan every auction. Nothing is left to chance. I can say that because I'm involved in the auction strategy process in that last week leading up to the big day. You've just seen how each of the team owned a specific buyer throughout the auction. The depth of talent and skill allowed them to achieve another superb result. How much is the David Hughes team advantage worth to you on auction day? I sincerely encourage you to find out. <laughs>